something is happening that I really need to share with you and I will do it in this video. Watch it till the end. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel where we always say, I'll be back. Yes, no, that's not my light lyrics. That's the lyrics of Arnold Schwarzenegger, but then improved with the B of Bitcoin. You can buy these shirts, of course, in the store, guys. In today's video, I'm talking about something that is happening that most people are not paying attention to, and it is very important that you see that it's happening. Yes, also, of course, looking into the charts, also, of course, talking a little bit about the news and giving an inspirational quote by Bob Marley at the end of this video guys let's quickly jump into the first part while i show you some special effects that i can move with my camera and the sound will still be the same now let's jump into the news first bam the news for today that is very important guys is that in the last 30 days around 23 billion dollar worth of bitcoin that's 440,000 bitcoins have been scooped up by long-term hodler bitcoin addresses 23 billion US dollar worth of Bitcoin scooped up by long-term hodler addresses. These are people that are in this game for a very long term and understand exactly how to play this Bitcoin cycle. While most of you all were freaking out, stressing out, fear, because the fear and greed index went all the way to the most fear ever, these people were buying. They were accumulating a shitload of Bitcoin. You can see it here in this chart, bam. Look how that peaks. We haven't seen this huge accumulation for a very long time. The last time we saw these kinds of accumulation was I think back in 2015, 16. And again, these addresses are starting to buy a shit of the Bitcoin because they know something is going on. They know that we are at that part of the Bitcoin cycle that you should be accumulating the last dip before we go into that massive run from September this year to December and probably another run from March next year, 2025, all the way to the top in 2025, September, October, November. They know this. And they also know that whatever news there is, if it is a war, a pandemic or a pandemic or a flu or whatever that happens or the mining of Bitcoin in China or whatever it is, they know that Bitcoin will just continue its path. Bitcoin will always say, I'll be back. I will dip, but I'll be back. And at the end, every four years, I will create a new all-time high, a new top, and also a higher bottom. And that's what we see. If you zoom out in Bitcoin, you can see this. We went from $80 to $1,200, to a bottom of $200, to a top of $20,000, to a bottom of $3,000, to a top of $70,000, to a bottom of $16,000, to a top of $160,000 US dollar, for example, to a bottom of maybe $60,000. We don't know, but what we do know is that we have never seen any cycle that if that cycle ended at the top, that we went lower than the previous halving so this halving we were at 63,000 US dollar which would mean that if we have a new top in 2025 and we have a new bear market of 12 months all the way into 2027 that we wouldn't go lower than that 60k that previous halving because we haven't done that before so that should not happen in the future as well but it also means that we first need to create a top in 2025 to see that happening and I do believe that these long-term hodler addresses exactly know what is going on. They are scooping all your Bitcoins, all the Bitcoins of retail, all the Bitcoins of the people that are afraid, all the Bitcoins of the people that bought at 60K, that now are afraid and are selling at 55K with a loss. They are buying all of your Bitcoins because they know how to play this game. And they will be taking their profits from the moment that all these indicators will tell you to take profit. Since that bottom wake to 48k, we already went up again with 14%, around 57k at the moment. So yes, that was a V-shaped recovery. That's a beautiful pattern that always plays out. That is also why I opened longs. That's also why I told the VIPs in the groups to take longs. That's also why I added to my spot portfolio. And yes, of course, we took some profits, as you can see over here and also over here. And that is with the bot. Yes, the bot is making 3% a month. I started this bot with one Bitcoin on the 11th of February this year. And I showed it publicly to the whole VIP group here this is my account on bybit if you want to sign up to bybit use the link down below to claim 30,000 US dollar in bonuses and a 500 dollar airdrop but then you can see that 
I started with 1.0004 Bitcoin on the 11th of February. This is now 1.2 Bitcoin. So that is February, March, April, May, June, July. So that's six months of training, result of 0.2 Bitcoin. That's an average 3% a month. That's an average that we also had in the last couple of years with this bot. Even if we backtracked the bot all the way to 2017, we would still have been making an average of 3% a month, guys. So it's a bot that's working perfectly for those that don't want to trade themselves. Do you need to share some of your profits with us because we trade for you? Yes. Can we access your capital? No. We connect your Bybit account to the bot. The bot will start trading. We can never, ever, ever touch your Bitcoin. We will also never, never, ever ask you in a direct message, please send us Bitcoin for an investment. We will only connect our bot to your account. And when you make profits at the end, you need to send us a part of your profits. We trust you in this. We can't take that. If you don't send it, we just disconnect the bot the next month. You won't be able to trade anymore. Now, so even the bot was making profits, guys. So that is huge news for today. All those that have been in this industry for a very long time have been accumulating a shitload of Bitcoin in the last 30 days, you should be doing the same. So don't send DMs to me. Should I go all in now? Should I do this? Should I do that? If I would sell my house today and have a shitload of value, I would not dollar cost average anymore. I would be going all in because I don't give a fuck if you buy Bitcoin at 55K or 45K or 65K. I don't care. I know and I believe and I trust that Bitcoin is going to double in price. And if I have 10k less or more profits at that moment in 2025, I don't care. I just want to be in Bitcoin. I want to be storing my capital in a deflationary asset, the gold of the 21st century that's protecting my capital against inflation. That is where I want my capital to be. Not in bricks, not in bank accounts, not in all those other stocks, just Bitcoin, the gold of the 21st century. Then guys, I have some amazing news because I've been using a Bitcoin debit card for the last couple of weeks. And this Bitcoin debit card is working perfectly. This Bitcoin debit card I can use to spend up to 100,000 US dollar per day. I think it's limited to 200,000 US dollar per month. So you can even buy a car or a very small apartment with a debit card. If you and your wife have a debit card, you can buy up to 200,000 US dollar per day. This Bitcoin debit card, if you use the link down below to sign up to it, you get a special bonus. Only in the next two weeks, signing up with that link down below, you get a special bonus. Yes, you need to top up $5 to the app to be able to claim your virtual debit card, that you will be able to add to Apple Pay, which means you can pay with your telephone with Bitcoins via double click everywhere. I've been testing it in shops. I've been testing it in grocery stores. I've been testing it in a shopping mall. I've been testing it in a cinema. I've been testing it at a gas station. It works everywhere. And you can also top up with $100, then you will be able to claim a physical debit card that you will receive at home. I don't want to use these physical debit cards anymore because you need to put them always in pockets. I just use Apple Pay nowadays, so I just use a virtual one and there's a soft KYC, just only a copy of your passport, no proof of address. In the future, that might change, but if you sign up now, today, using my link, you just need to do a soft KYC at the moment, guys, and you can start using your virtual debit card within 24 hours. The name of this debit card is Red Dot Pay. You can see the link down below. Use that link. The last part of the link, that is my code. So if you use the link and you need to fill the code again, use that last part of the code. That's the only way you can get that extra bonus, guys. And yes, you can even start to earn some extra cryptocurrency by sharing that message again with your friends. But you need to use my link first to be able to do that. So if you want to start using a beautiful debit card with Apple Pay all over the world, by sending your Bitcoins to that account, it will automatically convert it to, to euros or dollars, wherever you pay. At the moment you pay, not converting it up front. You don't need to do all of that stuff completely, automatically, nothing manually. Beautiful app in the App Store, but you need to use the link down below to sign up, guys. Now, that was a beautiful tip for me if you want to start spending Bitcoin as well, all over the world, like we are doing as the Bitcoin family. Now let's jump into the charts. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, yes, it's a four hour chart. We can see this V shape recovery, beautiful. Above that green line, this candle now uh, is gonna close in two hours and 42 minutes. It's a four hour candle. If we close above that line, that's very positive because that was a support level that became a resistance level. As you can see, it took us one, no here, one, two, three, four, 
five candles so that's almost uh, 20 hours to break through that resistance we broke it now let's keep supporting that one then we can hunt again for that yellow line that we can see over there around 63,000. that would be the next resistance area and then 66 of course the biggest part of resistance but it's very positive to see now on the four hour that we are bouncing also here on the bottom we can see yes the recovery of that blue line here from 12 levels all the way back now to 40 levels we can take it all the way up to 80 levels so there's a lot of uh, uh, movement possible still up we see the green hills we can see the green line on top it would be a perfect buy over there yes it's another good signal by the indicator setup guys now if we zoom out a little bit to the weekly chart we can see that candle that i was talking about yesterday is turning even more bullish now now the most positive scenario would be that in four days and 15 hours this candle closes around 59 thousand US dollar that would mean that this red candle turns green because the top at the moment the highest level was 58,278 if we go a little bit higher than that and close the candle there we would have a green small tiny body with almost no wig on the top and a huge wig to the bottom that is a very very bullish candle guys so that candle is going to play out and on the weekly time frame which means we are finding support at this 55k level over there and that we can go and move up again to higher highs in this 2024 bull year and then of course in 2025 we will have the ultimate top now there is a one more chart or video that i want to show you that explains again where we are in a cycle what it would mean for bitcoin today but also what it would mean for bitcoin in the next 10 years so prepare yourself for this chart strap onto your chair that you're not falling because this chart is going to show you what will happen to your bitcoin capital if you buy bitcoin today it's an amazing chart enjoy it bam No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. I hope you really enjoyed the chart guys short term there's a lot of volatility going on that's beautiful beautiful times for traders they are making a shitload of profits there's also a shitload of losses they just see what you can see in all the liquidation levels a lot of people are being liquidated in the last time because they trade with too high leverage too risky trades if you want to trade a little bit more safe use low leverage trades on Bybit or Blowfin and if you want to be a little bit more risky then you use high leverage trades but then of course you have also the possibility of being liquidated and uh, then you lose your bitcoins so I prefer to use low leverage like you can see on this trade only 5x but 5x gave me 26% profit so that's a beautiful way to trade you out of a position guys long term it's still the same play it's still the same play it's still the same play it's a four-year cycle each and every four years we create a new autumn high top it will be in 2025 and then after that in 2026 and beginning 2027 January February will be the bottom of the bear market again you will be buying back your bitcoins and then 2029 there will be a top again and you will be taking your profits again it is simple as that I know a lot of you think it can't be that simple it is that simple I've been doing it since 2013 there is nothing more simple than that I know that your emotions will be in your way and bothering you and oh, everyone is saying we're going to crash to zero and I know all these emotions play but the moment you use capital that you can afford to lose or that you don't need to live then you won't have those emotions or that or do you need to be believing in bitcoin the way i believe in bitcoin hardcore i have zero doubt in bitcoin so for me there is no emotion attached anymore to bitcoin going to zero of course i can have this emotion ah shit, mm, 10k drop ah man 
10 k a pump. Ah, yeah, nice. You know, those emotions always are there. But there is no fear in my mind that Bitcoin will ever stop. It's the goal of the 21st century. It's being accumulated by the biggest governments of the world. The presidents of the United States, Russia, all of the world, people are talking about Bitcoin. This is not going away. This is going to stay. So you need to zoom out, not freak out, stop crying and start buying because they are doing exactly the same. And you should be doing that as well at the moment, guys. Now, let's jump into the last part of the video. The last part of the video is, of course, the inspirational part. For the inspirational quote today, guys, I have a quote of Bob Marley. And that quote is, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. What does that mean? Everyone loves that quote, but what does that mean? It means that only you can free yourself from mental slavery. It is not your friends, it's not your family, it's not your father, it's not your mother, it's not your brother, it's not your sister, it's not your boss. They all can't help you with freeing your mind from their mental slavery. Because it's all them and all those opinions and all those ideas and norms and values that you use to live your life with. Stop doing that. Stop giving a fuck about what all those people think. Stop giving a fuck about what your boss thinks. Stop giving a fuck about what your friends think. It doesn't matter. It's all about what you think. You should be happy. And the way you will be happy is if you start to focus on your mental health. You need to free your mind from mental slavery. And it's not your mental slavery, it is the mental slavery that is put on you by all those people around you. And they are not putting it on you. You think that they are putting it on you, but they are just doing what they need to do. They are just doing and living their lives the way they live their lives. But you feel as if they are putting it on you. That's maybe not even true. Maybe they don't even want that thought in your mind. But it's you that's controlling your mind. It's you that makes yourself think, ah, maybe they don't think, or maybe they don't like what I do at the moment. Maybe they judge me for doing that. Maybe my boss won't love what I'm doing at the moment. It's you what is thinking that. You are the only one that can set yourself free from that mental slavery by just don't give a fuck about all of that anymore. Don't give a fuck about any opinion because maybe they are not even true. Maybe they are not even real. You make up all of these thoughts in your mind. It doesn't mean that they are real thoughts of those people. Only when they say it to you, then maybe it's real, but you cannot think for them. You need to think for yourself. You need to set yourself free from mental slavery. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. That was the last part of the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else, the news, and also, of course, about the inspirational part by Bob Marley, a means to pitch yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free your mind. I wish you an amazing Wednesday, amazing day. Here it's 40 degrees. I'm going to jump in the pool and cool off. Uh, i see you tomorrow again. Bam.